perhaps I, I guess want to do this little exercise. If we grabbed an issue, could you talk out loud like how you would approach it? Perhaps and like maybe give yeah. someone like sort of like a underhand pitch. Yeah. Uh, so perhaps maybe I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not I sure how you do it. This one was actually. A, yeah. Okay. So the first one was a pretty good one to walk through because it's like adding a new functionality to the uh, create next step. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. So. In this case, this person created a bug report being like, hey, I want to uh, basically send dash E or dash this example to create next step uh, with the value of default to basically pick out the default um, example, right? So uh, previously, like what we did in like older versions of next was like, we just gave you the default example yeah. But now we basically ask you, like, hey, do you want to install this example or do you want to use the default uh, value? And this is where, like, this broke, basically, for his use case because um, he wanted to use, like, this in CI or something like that. Um, so it should basically auto select default uh, when you do dash E default. So basically, like, bypassing the, that check for, hey, do you want to um create a uh, example uh, do you want to use an example yeah so basically i replied like hey we'd be happy to like add this functionality dash e that default dash e default um so someone already created a pull request for this yeah this is uh, james but it actually is yeah so this is like some like contributor um that is pretty active on the project and that tries to help out in good first issues um, but given that we don't have that much time, it actually might make sense to like go into this like pull request because it basically shows like which changes were made for, to make this happen, and it wasn't made by me, right? Um, so yeah, if you go into the diff, you basically um, because it's only one file, uh, so create next step um is that package, right? Packages yeah. create next step, yeah. and that has an index.ts, which is the create next step command. Um, and then what it does is basically it checks if um, like example is set there. So you have create a uh, create app with the example parameter um, on line 171. Yeah. Um, or 72 now. Um, yep. But basically what it this allows you to do is um, provide like which example has to be installed. So what this like if you don't provide an example, it just assumes that it's the default um, template. And so basically what uh, James, if I remember correctly, uh, did was yeah, he moved out the check for that uh, to check if it's uh, a string. Um, and then, well, well, basically it's the same code, but uh, then basically he added in the extra check. So example, if example exists and example is not default, then provide example and otherwise do undefined. So what this means is that um, if the example is set to default, it will be undefined. So it installs the default uh, yep. template. Awesome. And like, this uh, seems like super so approachable too, as well. Like, uh, it also yeah, does take yeah, like so the, knowing where to go, where to look, but the the solutions yeah. seem pretty straightforward. Yeah. So overall, um, like this is just like one, a one line change, right? Um, but even if it's a larger change, like it's generally like in one or two locations um, that you have to like make these changes. Um, so yeah, this is a great pull request that's done by like an external contributor. Um, and we still have to review it, of course, but like overall, it looks pretty good. Awesome, yeah. So I appreciate you walking through that too, as well. That's gonna, yeah, be helpful for a lot of people to see. Not only did we walk into this and like see how packages work and see how the testing works too, as well, because that's a lot of times like I can open up a PR, but I have no idea how to get the test to run. Um, so like knowing yeah. where the tests live and sort of like some of the hoops you have to jump through, that's super helpful. Yeah. 